the modern rogue a hundred years from now is just people used to do a thing called smoking and then our great grandchildren's clones walk up they set up the bozo dummy they light the cigarette and they run away and they're like oh i can't believe it it's doing it it's smoking a so much cancer because <laughs> i'm a modern rogue All I see is a bunch of disposable lighters from litterers. This is garbage and you have garbage in my warehouse. These are miniature flashbangs. It's really, really simple, not at all practical. All right, you have my attention. What's the story? This is in 100 Deadly Skills, mm -hmm. written by an ex-Navy SEAL, and it's billed as a diversionary flash device. Something that you can distract the enemy while you run away. That's right, okay, again. Smoke bomb! Again, all right, so so you and I are holed up the, the Nazi ninja uh, clones of Hitler running around, and this is, and you bust out, you're like, Brian, I've recently taken up smoking. I have a lot of lighters. Talk to me to the theory of what we're trying to do here. Essentially, what we're trying to do is extract the flint, heat it up, and then throw it at the ground and it makes an explosion of sparks. So it doesn't even use any of the fuel? No, the butane is untouched. It's way safer than it sounds. So, I, I, no, I believe you. To be honest, I thought for sure, you uh, you know the trick to, to make the flame go higher than it's supposed to, right? No, I know that's something you do, but I don't know how to do it. I do it for the stage show because oftentimes for safety, they have these set to where it's like there's dead and then super dead are the two settings that they have on there. You'll notice that you got the butane and the valve and then you've got the steel wheel and the flint. If you take off this casing, and when you're pushing the more than, less than button here, like mm -hmm. that, so right there, it's very, very low, and then you turn it to allegedly high, and it's still very, very low, right? That's pathetic. So what you do is you turn it over to maximum, then you push it up, and you're gonna feel that it's not biting as it goes back, and then you're gonna lock it back in, so you're essentially over rotating. So now you're getting a proper second turn. <laughs> nice! Right? That's actually pretty cool. Well, and it makes it more reliable if you, of course, burn through the fuel a whole lot faster, but also you it's good for, uh, I don't know, keeping away gremlins. It's like you unlocked the upgrade to the lighter. It was safety locked to the point where it wasn't even usable. Well, and that's the reason I do it, because on the stage show, if I'm in the middle of talking and doing the fire eating, I light the torches six, seven, eight times during the course of the five minute routine, and it's awkward every time I have to go ch -ch 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 -ch. So I make sure to kind of loosen them up a little past the default safety settings. All right, that is super cool. Also not what we're doing. Though. Not what we're doing. All right, take one of these lighters, pry off the casing again. Okay, same deal. We're not messing with the fuel. See, it took me forever to do that and you just <laughs> cracked it right open. <laughs> Part of it is having the right tool because it used to be like, you know, somebody would take a pen in high school or whatever and I had just a, pop it off. I had a steak knife. It took me like 20 minutes. Why would you use a steak knife? It was, it was a bad idea. It was really irresponsible. You used the proper tool. Now we have to get the flint in the spring. Okay, so I'm gonna peel off the safety cover. That's another thing, man. Those the safety covers make a pain in the butt. Great. There you go. So we have the cover, the safety, the wheel, the spring, and the flint. And flint, this is just rock, right? Yeah. Looks like a tiny bit of lead that you would put in a mechanical pencil. Basically, lighters work with the spring just keeps pushing the flint up, and the flint scrapes against the steel, right? Yes. So this is just constantly grinding it down, but the spring is always pushing it forward and forward. So now what? So now you want to stretch out your spring a little bit. Oh, this is getting good. You're going to want to hold it by one end. Yeah. And thread the flint through the other end and wrap it around. And this part is a kind of a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna hold it here, and I'm gonna do kind of a winding motion. Does it matter how far deep it is? No. Okay. No, I mean, you want it towards the end a little bit because you wanna hold one end of it. But the purpose is to hold the flint away from you. Yes, perfect, Okay. perfect. To me, this is the, this is the montage where it's like, uh, I have an idea for a diversionary tactic. Oh! oh. What, what happened? Oh, you did the <laughs> I pinchy just, thing. I, did. I told you, don't do the oh. pinchy thing. That hurt. She's oh, I so broke crazy. it. You gotta be careful when you're prying that wheel off because you'll break that flint off. In fact, I recommend don't try to pry it off so much as break these sides. Yeah. Just peel them back and then this will fall right off. Oh wow, that's a that's tougher than I thought too. <laughs> What are, are, you, are you king of the pinchies? What are you doing? Yeah, it's this no, tiny you damn not thing. Have to use that. Looks like the safety thing just flew. Oh, it, it, it. Felt something hit my head. Yeah, you gotta be careful because that flint yeah. is spring loaded. Oh, lost the spring. You're like one for 12. I know. It's, it's fine. It's oh, fine. wait. Oh, we've got, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I made a bunch while yeah. you were. <laughs>
doing whatever it was well, you were I was doing. mangling well, my you hand. Were <laughs> bleeding to death. I made five. I broke <laughs> so many of the flints. <laughs> all right, listen. We're going to move real quiet outside. I'm going to create a distraction. Then you steal all the orphans and run across America. I've always wanted to steal orphans. I'll die at the hands of the clone Hitlers. I've always wanted you to die at the hands of clone Hitler. Let's go. <laughs> we, we scooby doo walk. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So we got four. Sorry. Listen, man, those orphans, you better get them out of there. We only have four chances to make this work. All right, it's going to take about 30 seconds to heat that up. You want the flint to get red hot. Is there a chance of it exploding in my hands or something? Or You know, that's a really good question. <sighs> you f <laughs> yeah, you want it to start glowing red. Yeah, you can see it glowing red. Whoa. There it is. Ready? And yep. Whoa, go yep. away, bad guys. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and I got to use my new catchphrase. Go, go away, away, bad, bad guys. guys. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good one. That's that's right up there with up, up, and away, and it's clobbering time. <laughs> Go away, bad guys. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. That was See, that was actually blinding. I don't know. As far as diversionary flash devices, meh. Well, but it's a cool party trick. Oh, my God, yeah. Let's do it again. Yeah. You want to try two at once? Yes. They're so entangled, I can't get them apart. Oh, so yeah. So I'm going to make them into one. Here, hop, hop in on this. It's like s'mores on the campfire, but way more cool. Yeah. This one's ready. Do it. Uh, but it's only one. Oh, it's doing it on its own. Uh, go away, bad guys. Oh, damn it, Brian. Stop that. Uh, go away, bad guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still got it in. Well, it was getting brighter and brighter and brighter. It genuinely looked like there was like a, ch it was Oh, like sucking. it was gonna pop? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I don't know if it was just absorbing all of the heat from the wire, because you notice the wire doesn't yeah. stay red. So there's enough heat energy in the wire, which is a great series. Wow! Now that's how you make a distraction. <laughs> go away, bad guys. I should have. I should have run. You like, should have run. You'd be like, oh, where, where did, did he go? What? <laughs> Dude, super effective. That was amazing. <laughs>